Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Good Hello, afternoon. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Well, guys, welcome to your first class in this module number two. And let me share with you the topic for today's class. ¿Ya terminaste de usar el lapicero? ¿Ya usaste el lapicero? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but there's someone, there's someone over here selling fruits and vegetables. Okay. So, okay. This is class number four. Today is, what day is today? Thursday. Exactly. It's Thursday, September 8th, 2022. Okay. So, in today's class, we are going to continue learning about simple present questions. And we have the following activities in our agenda. First, we have an activity which is called true or false. Then, in the activity two, we have simple present information questions, as I told you yesterday. And activity three, we are going to learn about there is and there are. So that you have a better idea and you can answer uh, the or you can do the exercises in the platform. And finally, we have the wrap up. Okay, so let's start with activity one, true or false. I'm going to read for you some statements about myself, about me. You have to tell me if it's true or if it's false. They are about me. Okay, the number one. I usually eat three pupusas. Is it true or is it false? True or false? A volunteer, please. True or false? Or false? Well, it's true. I usually eat three pupusas. Actually, this morning I had three pupusas for breakfast. Okay. Um, sentence number two. I don't like fish. Is it true or is it false? Volunteers. It's true. It's false. I do like fish. I like fish. Yes. Actually, I had fish soup this lunch. Okay. <laughs> I had fish soup. Okay. So it's false. Now, number three. I have two children. True or false? It's true. No, it's false. I don't have children. I don't have babies. Okay. And number four, I have a cat. True or false? True. It's true. true. True, yes, I told you yesterday that I have a cat. And the last one, I work on Saturdays. True or false? I work on Saturdays. True or false? True. Yes, false. it's true. <laughs> It's true, yes, I have to work on Saturdays. English teachers usually work on Saturdays because it's the day in which many people have time to learn another language. Okay, great. So now you are going to do the same. You are going to write three sentences that are true and two sentences that are false. Okay, you will write five sentences and you choose to write two false sentences and two true sentences about yourself, okay? So this is gonna be about you, but you have to write two statements that are not true, they are false, okay? 
So I will give you three minutes to write the five sentences, okay? So let's work on that, please. Let's work on writing. Let's write the sentences. And while you write your sentences, I am going to take the attendance, okay? I am going to take the attendance. So don't forget to stay present or to sing here, okay? So just give me a moment and I will um, take the attendance. Okay, in a moment. Echar una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, para decir, I don't like conchas. Como, no sé cómo se le dicen a las conchas. Shells. 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 S-E-H-E-L-L-F. Shells. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, today is Thursday 8. I don't know what happened here. Well, anyways, uh, Esmeralda Elizabeth Oliva? Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail Arriaza? Gabriela Abigail. Okay. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Thanks. Jose Vidal Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Mayra Areli Méndez. Present. Thank you. Nimi and Elizabeth Leon. Present. Thank you. Victoria Leal. Present. Thank you. Jancy Melanie Montes. Present. Thank you. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Who didn't I mention? Teacher present. Ah, okay, Gabriela. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, uh, the people who I didn't mention.
I think I didn't mention Daniel, right? Okay. Did you finish your uh, your sentences? I hope so. Okay. Now I will send you into groups. I will send you to rooms, um, and um, you are going to do the same as I did in your group. For example, you're going to read your sentences, and your classmate will say true, or they will say false. Okay. You read your sentence, for example, somebody said, um, I have two sons, and I will say true, and you can say yes or no, or I like to drink coffee, uh, false, okay, or true. Okay, um, any questions with that? No? Is everything clear? Okay, I will um, make the groups and please participate saying your sentence. Okay. Jose Vidal and Catherine. Do you have problems? Tiene que darle unirse o join. Me apareció la... la... Le apareció Vidal la, para entrar al, a los grupos, a la sala. Hoy sí, ya. Yeah. Eh, la, la siguiente es, I have a work. Mm, true. It's true. It's true. No, it's false. No. Mm -hmm. um, la siguiente, I don't like chills. I don't like chills. No me gustan los niños. It's... No, shell, shells. Shell. Ah, <laughs> eh, it's false. A todos les gustan las conchas. Ah, pero las conchas de mar. Sí. Ah, no, pues pensé que conchas Oye. de pan. Ah, no, las conchas de pan, esas son, son ricas. Ah, entonces, entonces tal vez es, es true. It's false. It's true. Mm, es que son un poco. Bueno. I, don't like I don't like shows. I don't like shows, cocktails. Gustos particulares. Les comento que uh -huh. puedo hacer rellenos de conchas, pero no son de mi agrado. Uh, I have a car. Mm. True. True. It's true. Uh -huh. I like dance. Yeah. I like dance. Paul, you don't like dancing. 
True. Is it it's true? You like dancing? Yes. Oh, okay. I like dancing. I like Very dancing. nice. I like dancing too. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay. Me gusta is false. Ah, ya, ya te dije. Creo que la idea es que, lo, que practiquemos también la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Y... Exacto. Veamos la otra suya, la de I have two songs. I have two songs. It's true for you. It's true. It's false in, 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 in my case. I have three, three songs. You have three songs. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> three, see. Two daughter and one boy. Ah, okay. So you have three children. Children, children. Uh huh. One children. boy. One boy. Two, two girls. Two girls. Okay. Daniela Magal. Eh, false. I have. Read your sentences. Read your sentences. Que lea sus oraciones, las que escribió. Ah, es que eso le, estaba, eso le estaba diciendo que este, yo no, no sabía de qué oraciones estaban hablando. No escucho. Ah, ya, sí. Sí, yo les mostré un ejemplo mío, ¿verdad? Yo hice esas oraciones y ustedes me decían si era cierto o falso. Uh -huh. Ahora, ustedes iban a hacer cinco oraciones. Dos oraciones falsas y tres ciertas. Cuando las leyeran, yo y las, sus compañeras le iban a decir si era cierto o falso. Sí. Pero que sí. iba a hacer diferentes oraciones de acuerdo a sus circunstancias. Por ejemplo, Victoria podría haber puesto, I have one child. It's false because she has three children. Sí. Okay, Daniela, can you read one of your sentences? <ríe> las tendría que hacer porque este, como entré unos minutos tarde a la clase este, no las había hecho, por eso les estaba preguntando ah ok Jacqueline eh, tengo tres ah, ok, tell us one I like to drink coffee I like two? to drink coffee it's I true have... sí. it's true yes. <ríe> <ríe> ok, another one eh, I have two songs. It's true. It's true. Three songs. Two. two. Ah, two songs. Ah, so it's false. Y la tercera, I have two brothers. It's false. It's true. Ah, it's true. You have two brothers. True. I have two brothers too. Okay, great. Continue, please, practicing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Estamos casi terminando, teacher. Okay, can I hear one? One practice, one sentence? Okay, I have two doubters. False or true? Is is true. It's true. You have two daughters. Oh, interesting. Okay, great. Continue, please. Maybe nine months. <gasps> nine months. She's a baby. She's a baby. <laughs> and the other girl? Uh, Twelve years. years Teacher. Old. Yes. Se podrá decir, I like ice cream. I like ice cream. Yes, I like ice cream. Me gusta el helado, sorbete. Yes. It's true. <laughs> okay. Just let me check another group. Okay. Good job. Okay. Bye. Bye. Ahí okay. es donde yo me he quedado igual. Yo creo que ya vamos a la clase. Hello. Hello. Hola, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I want to hear one practice. Sí, 
Yes, one person, only one. One sentence. Las tenemos que volver a preguntar, teacher, porque nosotros ya las habíamos preguntado. Ah, you are finished. Yo solo quiero escuchar sí. una, que una me diga una y las uh -huh. digan true or false. Bye. Les pregunto yo entonces. Ok. Bye. I don't like pizza. It's false. Yes. <laughs> no, false it's false. Because you love pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Thank you. We are going to close. Okay. And we're going to go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, so how did you feel in the activity? Did you like the activity? Yes, I like. Yes, you do. Okay, yes. great. You could practice vocabulary, grammar structures, and also pronunciation. Okay, great. Now, let's... Um, well, yesterday we were learning about simple present questions and we were using do and that. Remember, with I, you, we, and they, we are going to use do. But when we have the third person singular, he, she, it, we use does, okay? When the subject is a third person singular, does. When the person is first or second person singular or plural, do. Do you have a car? No, I don't. Do you like sushi? No, I don't. Or yes, I do. Does your mother cook very well? Yes, she does. She cooks delicious. Does your sister have a baby? No, she doesn't. Does your dog eat a lot? Yes, it does. Dogs usually eat a lot of tortillas or a lot of dog food, right? <laughs> okay, so those are some examples of simple present questions. What type of questions are these? Are they just no questions or information questions? Can someone tell me? What type of questions? Just no questions or information questions? Teacher, repeat, please, the information. Victoria, I couldn't hear you well. Can you repeat, please? Yes, teacher, please. Okay. What type of questions are these? That's your, mo your model. Okay, these are just no questions. Because the answer is no or yes, or yes or no. So they are just no questions. But today, we are going to learn information questions. For information questions, we need question words. For example, where, which means donde, what time, which means a que horas, how often, which means con cuanta frecuencia, what, which means que. Yeah, and there are more question words. For example, eh, we, um, when, which means cuando. Also, which, we use it when we have options. It means cual, cual de estos. Okay, also why. Why means por qué, why, por qué. Okay, so we have where, what time, how often, what, 
También tenemos how old para preguntar la edad. Right? Um, let's see what else. When, which, why, what, who, which means quién. Okay? So those are the question words. Okay, the structure is the same we have, but the only thing is that we are going to put the question word at the beginning, okay? Then we have the auxiliary do or does, depending on the subject. And then we have the subject. And finally, the verb, okay? So we can have it like this. Sorry. So here we have WH question word, okay? Auxiliary, do or does, have the subject, and finally, the verb. So as you can see, it's the same as in the previous slide. It's the same, do, the subject, verb, and complement. But the only difference is that over here, we are going to use an, the question word, okay? Where, what time, how often, what? And the others I send you in the chat, like why, how old, who. For example, if I, I can ask you a question, do you study English? Yes, I do. Where do you study? Where do you study? What time? Where do you study, guys? Where do you study English? I study English in English Corporativo. Okay, I study at English Corporativo. What time do you study? Um, one month. No, what time? What time no. do you study? Uh, at one o'clock. At one o'clock, okay, from one to two p.m. Exactly. How often do you have your classes? How often? Como diríamos diario? Every ah, day. Diario. Every day, todos los días. Or Every day. you can say, well, but you no, don't have classes. No, todos los días. Exactly. El lunes a jueves. So how would you say that in English, Jonathan? Uh, I study English uh, the Monday to what do you say, jueves? Se me olvida. Ya les dije, from Monday to Thursday, exactly. Thursdays. Monday, to, Monday Thursdays. to Thursdays, yes. Exactly. Very nice. Uh, now, another question Why do you study English? Why? Why do you study English? I help my family. Okay, you say, I study English to, um, to get better job opportunities. Para obtener más oportunidades o mejores oportunidades de empleo. And help my family. And in that way, help my family. Okay, so I study English to get better job opportunities and help my family and be able to help my family, okay? So, or you can answer, because I like it, right? Porque me gusta. That could be another reason. Or another reason is because English is important in nuestro tiempo, nowadays. Nowadays. 
Exactly. You can have different reasons why you study English, but those are some examples. Mm -hmm. So we answer the questions, where, where do you study? What time do you study? How often do you have your classes? Why do you study English, right? What time do you study English? And that is excellent. Okay, so information questions, the answer is not yes, it's not no, the answer is information. That's why they are called information questions because you have to give information. Okay, excellent. Now, I would like you to write in the chat some questions for the teacher, okay? Questions for the teacher. Information questions for the teacher. You can type in the chat the question. Where do you born? Ah, okay, but in that case, um, that will be different because it's in the past. It's a question in the past. And right now we are learning questions in the present. Ah, okay, okay. Perfect. But your question yes. would be where? It's the past. Yes, where were you born? Donde naciste is in the past. Oh, okay. Exactly. But you can ask questions in the present. Questions in the present. Um. What do you favorite women for dance? Uh, can you repeat your question, Daniel? It was difficult for me to understand. Okay. What do you your favorite remit uh, from dance? Ah, okay. Okay, your question will be like this. Okay, what kind or what type? What kind of music? Do you like to dance? What kind of music do you like to dance? What kind of music do you like to dance? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta bailar? The same with what kind of uh, music do you like to listen? What kind of food do you like to cook? Okay, we have questions here. What time do you work? Okay, I work from one, from one to two. On Mondays, I work from one to five p.m. On Saturdays, I work from seven. 2, 3 p.m. Why do you teach English? I, because I love teaching English. Yeah, for me, it's very satisfying when I see that the students can speak English. They can communicate. Another question. Where do you like for dinner? Mayra, sería where? Where do you like to have for dinner? Or where do you like to eat dinner? Eh, ¿Cómo era la pregunta, Mayra? ¿Dónde me gusta comer? Where do you like to have dinner? Maybe I like to have dinner at home. Oh, good question, Jonathan. How often do you watch series and movies? Maybe, maybe three times a week. Yes, I watch a, a series with my husband, which is called The Mentalist. Do you like The Mentalist? I like that series. But we don't watch it every day because sometimes we don't have time. But we do it, let's see, on 
on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. Mm -hmm. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to sleep. <laughs> I like to see my friends. I like to go out different places. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. I have three siblings. I have two brothers and one little sister. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you write the question, ah, okay, I understand, Mayra. Okay, yes, where do you like to have dinner? I like to have dinner at La Pampa restaurant. I like to, but it's very expensive. <laughs> I like to have dinner at uh, pupusas restaurants, right? Because I love pupusas. How often do you visit the dentist? Oh, that is a difficult question, Gabby. Because I don't go as, as I should. I don't go that often, but I visit the dentist, let's say twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. How often do you walk? Mm, I always walk, my friend. Yes, I walk every day because when I go out, I always have to walk a lot to get the bus. Okay, excellent. So I can see, guys, that you can use, you can structure questions very well. Excellent. And a plus for you. Okay, a plus S. You can give a pluses for you because you you can structure questions very well. Excellent. Now I was reading the chat, the WhatsApp group, and I noticed that some of you uh, had some problems with the is and the are. Okay. So um, let me uh, introduce that topic. For example, we have this conversation that says, there aren't any chairs. There aren't any chairs. Okay, says Chris and Linda, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, so they are talking about the apartment. They're talking about the apartment, right? And um, she says that she needs some things. For example, it says there are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. So you can see here the chairs. There are one, two, three. There are three chairs. There are significa I in plural. There is in singular. There is. So there are three chairs. There is a lamp, but there isn't a table. There isn't a table. No hay una mesa, right? There's no sofa. No hay un sofa. Okay? Very nice. So um, now let's look more examples in the next slide. Over here, you can see that we use there is plus a or an plus an object. Para eso se utiliza, para decir que hay algo, un objeto. It depends when I will use an. Cuando voy a usar a, and when will I use an? Can somebody give me an example? Or an explanation? ¿Cuándo voy a usar A y cuándo voy a usar AN? ¿En español? Sí, es ok. 
a cuando lo que la palabra que le sigue empieza con constante, con una constante. Consonante. An, o consonante, perdón. Y cuando iba a es porque empieza con una vocal. Exactly, con un sonido vocal. Exactly, with a vowel sound. Excellent. Thank you so much, Victoria. Okay. So, examples. There's a bed in the bedroom. Bed is where you sleep, right? Where you sleep. Yes, the bed. Okay. So, there's a bed in the bedroom. There's a lamp on the night table. There is a TV in the living room. But there is no picture on the wall. Okay. So, hay una cama en la habitación o en el cuarto. Hay una lámpara de, en la mesa de noche. Hay una televisión en la sala. No hay una pintura en la pared. ¿Ok? Now, plural. This is only one object. Bed, lamp, TV, picture. Now, plural, two or more. Two or more, we use that are. And we can use some. We can use no. We can say a number in the object. For example, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Hay algunas sillas en la cocina. There are three armchairs in the living room. Hay tres eh, sillones in the living room, en la sala. There are three. I can say the number, right? And then another one, there are no flowers in the garden. And there is another way to say it. There are no flowers in the garden. No hay flores en el jardín. Okay, so you can copy examples. And you can give me some examples. You can, you can write in the chat. You can type in the chat. Examples, okay, about the objects that there are or there aren't in your house or in your city. For example, um, in my house, there are, let me count, one, two, three. There are three bedrooms. My house, there are three bedrooms in my house, right? Three bedrooms. There are two bathrooms. There are two bathrooms. Uh, there is a closet. Okay, very nice, Mayra. There are four books on the table. Excellent. More examples? In my house, there is a microwave. Very nice, Victoria. Yes, in your kitchen, right? There is a microwave. There is a, there are actually, there are two computers at home. Yes, there are two computers at home. There is a TV in my house. There are two bathrooms in my house. There are two beds in the bathroom, okay, excellent. Very nice. There is a kitchen in the house, okay. Do you have a garage? There is a stove. Yes. Great, do you this have a garage? Y en el caso negativo, para decir que no hay determinado cosa en la casa, ¿cómo sería? There isn't or there aren't. Uh -huh. Isn't or aren't. There isn't or there aren't. Por para, ejemplo. Si nos puede dar un ejemplo de cada uno. Ok, there aren't any children in my house because I don't know maybe. So there aren't any children in my house. There isn't, um, there isn't air conditioner. Um, 
let's see. What else? Eh, el aren't sería para el plural y el isn't para lo singular. Exactly. Yes. Okay. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Okay. Very nice. There is a table in my house. Okay. Oh, there are three closets in your house. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, in my house, there isn't a TV stand, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jose Vidal, there is a TV in my living room. There are two gardens in my house. Don't forget to put the S in the objects that are plural. There are two gardens in my house. There is a table in the kitchen. There isn't a cat here. A cat here. There isn't a garage in my house. Okay. Um, there isn't. There isn't a TV in my bedroom. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Okay. There isn't a coffee table in the living room. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, pregunta, en el caso, bueno, con la que envié, ¿se puede usar para referirse a gatos? ¿Se puede usar el an? So you have to use a, a, a cat. Ajá. For eh, instance, a cat. A cat, for sí. One. A cat eh, is for one. Y an cat, cat, it's for more, o no. Cat. Only. Mm -hmm. And we use it before one thing that starts with a vowel consonant. I will write some examples. For example, there isn't an elephant in the zoo, right? There isn't an elephant at the zoo, in the zoo, right? Another one. There is an, an onion in the refrigerator. An onion, an onion. Why? Because we say oh, oh. onion. There is an, an onion in the refrigerator. If not, it would say there is an a oh. Se evita eso, el a oh, o el a -i. Por eso se usa la N, para que todo vaya junto. There is an onion in the refrigerator. There is an elephant in the zoo. There is an umbrella in my house. There is an a clock in the living room. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, now I would like to have some minutes and so that we can solve some of the uh, I think you have some problems in the exercises, and I hope that you can finish all the, the sections today, section one and section two. Um, so this is the moment in which if you have a question, we can solve it together. Okay, Yancy? Yo tengo una duda. Fíjese que en la sección 1 a mí no me agarra lo que es la pregunta que dice, does this class start at 8 o'clock? Ok, ¿es la sección 1? Sí. And the point? Donde le dan las, como las partes de la oración y usted la crea. Ok. Okay, give me a moment that it's loading. Okay. It's loading. But I, I will look for the exercise. Uh, Victoria? Okay, teachers. 
Yo tuve problemas, yo entiendo bien el uso del there is, el there a, cuando es singular y plural, pero me costó mucho en la sección 2, cuando pide que haga la lectura de unas casas y que yo identifique there is y there hay, intenté un montón de veces ayer por la noche y ninguno me daba. Ya alguien lo mandó al grupo resuelto a total, pero igual eh, no lo pude identificar. Ok, let me check. Ok, I'm trying to get to the exercise first, the one that Melanie mentioned. So this one, you'd have no problem. No, no es esa, teacher. No, es la última de esa, de esa sección. This one? Si es la mía, no, la mía es la última de la esa sección. Esa es, dos. teacher. Okay, first we go with Jancy Melanie and then with you, Victoria. Okay, it says, unscramble the questions to complete the conversation. Write the questions in the blank. This time you don't need to type a question mark at the end, okay? Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day, okay? Mm -hmm. So number two is, what time? Do you eat lunch? Okay, number three. Okay, does this class start? Start at nine or eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Oh, sorry, eight okay. It's eight. Okay. Remember when you put the, the apostrophe, you don't put a, a tilde. Tienen que poner el apóstrofe. Si ponen sí, la... se lo puse, teacher, pero no me lo agarra. Ok. Does this class start at 8 o'clock? Jan, yo A mí también me dio problema esa, pero creo que era la página porque ahí me metí del celular y sí me la agarró. Porque hubieron dos de esas, que esa y la última. Eh, no me agarraba de la computadora, así que me metí el celular y sí me la agarró. Ajá, esa tampoco me la agarraba de la computadora. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces podría hacer eso, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Ok, y ya, bueno, voy a, voy a subir los tonos aquí para ver qué me da. Uh -huh. Sí, igual a mí, miren, me sale do you and your friend. Vamos a ver. ¿Tienen your friends play sports on weekend? Ah, a mí me faltó un weekend. Perdón. Hoy sí. Me había, había, no había escrito un weekend. Ok. So that was my mistake. Okay, now the exercise for Victoria, the one that Victoria mentioned, is about the house, right? Section two. Yes. Vocabulary, house and apartments. This part is correct. This part. No, no. The houses. This is. Okay. 
Read the text from the list, select the correct articles from each house. Seleccione los artículos correctos de cada casa. Okay, every year many people visit. Let's see. Arizona, to learn about Native American tribes, most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogans. Lorimi Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay? In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's a famous for, she's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors, think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nerys loves it, okay? It says, Sandra Cisneros' house. Okay, there is a, we have here three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds in the floor, wood morning stuff. Okay, so in this case, According to what you read, Sandra Cisneros' home. A porch with a pink floor. Exactly. So the answer here is porch with a pink floor. No pueden ser las otras porque las otras están en plural. Three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, two beds. Y esa está en singular, wood burning stove, but esa no es de Sandra Cisneros es la otra, la otra casa. ¿Ok? Sandra Cisneros House. There are uh -huh. color paintings. Colorful colorful painting. ¿Ok? Colorful paintings and many books. Many books, exactly. Now, in the other exercise, Lorraine Nelson's house, there is a... Sería esto, ¿verdad? Yes, do you understand what is that? They are very popular in El Salvador. Wood es leña o madera. Burning que se quema. Stove, cocina. Entonces, ¿qué significa? Cocina de leña. Exactly. There is a wood burning stove. There are. There are. Three. Three chairs. Eso está en este, ¿ves? Sandra's. Sorry, uh, Nielsen's, Lorraine Nielsen's house. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. There are three chairs, and there are? Two beds. beds. Two beds. So. Okay, you submit. And that's correct. Oops. There is a porch with a pink floor. What happened? Ah, creo que porque le puse el punto. Porch with a pink floor. We have to be very careful. Yes, that was the, that was the problem that I put the period. 
Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. That someone else has another question about the exercises. No? No more questions? So far, so good? So far, so good, teacher. Okay, that's great. Can you tell me what you learned today in my class? You can um, say, today I learned. Today I learned. And please raise your hand before you give your comment. No me digan que no aprendieron nada, ya me afligí. There are, there is, there are. Okay, there is, there is, and there are, there aren't. Okay, thank you. W question words. Exactly, the WH question words. Can you give an example, just a bit? Uh, where do you work? What time does he get up? How often do you they go out? And what do you do? Excellent. Okay. Then he says that is there are I am. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, it's two oh two. It was a pleasure for me to have in this class, and I like. Uh, that you were practicing the, the statements true or false in the breakout rooms. It was nice to, to hear you practicing English. And well, I hope you can finish the exercises you have this afternoon. You think you can still work on them, finish the two sections, and I'll see you on Monday, okay? So have a nice long weekend. See you Thank on you. Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye bye. See you Monday. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. 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 bye.